happy 2016. It's Alicia. Oh, I've got blue hair. Can you tell my hair is blue? It's like blue and green right now. Now that it's 2016, my excitement for Eurovision 2016 is a little bit more realistic, right? So I'm basically gonna talk about all the things that we actually know at this point about Eurovision 2016, which is going down in Stockholm, Sweden. Hope to see you there. I'm gonna be there. Let's meet up, let's talk, right? We've got 43 countries participating and I'm actually excited about the fact that Australia is back this year. I'm excited because I really liked the song last year. I thought Guy Sebastian was awesome and I totally think he could have gotten like a few more points. Personally, I know Australia in theory couldn't have won, but wait, could they really have not won? I love that song. <laughs> so if you've watched some of my other videos, you might have seen 10 things that I don't want to see at Eurovision 2016. And one of my 10 things is actually going to be happening. 10 things Mons and Petra are going to be hosting this year. Honestly, anything is better than what happened in Austria last year. Um, I'm excited about Petra hosting. I think she's awesome. Um, I, I don't understand why she needs help, but whatever. No shade to Mons. I think Mons is awesome and he clearly has experience being a presenter and whatnot. I wish them the best of luck. I think they'll have like a nice rapport. Those hosts in Austria were so boring. I just personally don't want us to get into some weird Eurovision trend where just because you won, you get to host. Like, I just don't think that that's fair. Just because you're a singer and a performer doesn't necessarily mean that you have the skills to host. The Austrian three ladies hosting, I mean, I'd love to give them props like girl power, all of that jazz, but no, that was horrible. They were so awkward. Don't get me wrong, I just want to, I'm, I'm excited for Petra. I think Petra and Mons will be a great team. But again, I hope this doesn't signal some type of trend where just because you win Eurovision, you get to host the next year. I don't think that like every singer should be a host. It's just not, uh, yeah. So of course, it's not like we have any front runners right now in theory, because we don't know what the songs are gonna be. But I will say, I hope the Netherlands is gonna look at redeeming themselves from last year because I loved Walk Along and that song was most definitely a missed opportunity and they failed because of the staging and the styling and the lack of choreography. But they won't have to worry about this because I guess this guy, Dewey Bob, sorry, Dewey Bob, best of luck. I'm rooting for you. I'm probably saying his name wrong, but I actually think the Netherlands have a really good chance of winning this year. They're gonna be doing, I guess Dewey Bob is a country singer. Um, and I really liked Calm Before the Storm and it got second place. So I think he has a really good chance of winning. Good luck to you, Dewey Bob. We already have our first controversy and I'm here to talk about it. Albania has already selected their winner. Her name is Anita. I'm probably saying that wrong. Sorry, Anita. So basically some people are calling out Anita saying that she could possibly be homophobic. I looked at the statements myself. Um, of course, they had to be translated because they were in Albanian and I don't speak Albanian. They unearthed some tweets from when Conchita won and um, apparently she was expressing some shock and um, dismay at the fact that Conchita won. I just want to give a message to everyone calling her homophobic out there. Um, stop. She's not homophobic. I looked at the statements. Basically, she was just saying that Conchita won because of the gimmick. Let's be real. Uh, Eurovision, yes, it is a song contest, but it matters who the performer is. The staging matters. Uh, the costuming matters. Uh, the actual artist who is delivering that song matters. And luckily, Conchita just happens to be awesome. And so it really didn't matter what she was singing. Unless it was going to be horrible and like off-key bad vocals. Like, if the vocals were bad, Conchita would not have won. Stop. But the vocals were on key. The staging was on point. The styling was on point. So all of those things were working in Conchita's favor. Stop. Anita, I hear you. I hear you, girl. As usual, I was rooting for Sweden. I was rooting for Undo. But... Conchita won. Many people can criticize Conchita if they want. They're totally allowed to do that. Like, that's okay. As long as they're not making outwardly homophobic remarks. 
You can really just not like a song based off the fact that it's not good or it's not your taste and you don't like it. You can still criticize those performers just as long as you're not running any like slurs or being disrespectful. Stop. So that's what we know so far for Eurovision 2016. I'm really excited. I hope you're excited too. And um, talk to me on Twitter. Here's my info right there. Get my info and hit me up. Let's get excited for Eurovision 2016.